Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband Prophecy of Pendor 3.705 Single in Hunters vs. Kyrus Ducks Party. We could join in on side of Kyrus Ducks, but what will that help? Because killing the Single in Hunters is a sure thing, as he has 32 Legion Centurions. Um, although it will get us on good terms, so let's help him. I don't make myself any any hopes up because we're not going to be of any help to him. Yeah, we get one renown for this. Great. Are you kidding? Yeah, I know it's not a big help. But see it that way, killing people here does not serve me anything. Because we're not getting anything. The loot will go all to this Dedux guy. There's nothing we can do about it. Double kill! Wonderful! So actually, Dux is losing more people than I thought he would. Maybe this battle is getting interesting after all. But then again. Come on, you to he totally ruined my attack run. Well, at least that worked. Okay. It's more like bowling than fighting, I know. Oh, come on. Stop killing people! You're ruining a fortune here! Ah, oh, this... Empire, guys! This Empire, guys. A mess, if you ask me. A mess right from the start. But they lost quite a lot of guys. Well, he got all his shadowy... This guy's are nearly impossible to kill. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest, this Empire guys are tough nuts. They might not be the strongest cavalry in the world, but they sure as hell are tough. Great. 
Right, now I'm in the middle of a guys with halberds and, and, and very, very evil things. And I cannot run, even ram them because there are too many of you. Yeah, I hate you too. Right from the bottom of my heart, I can sell I hate you. And to show that, I'm done. Well, at least... At least they like us a little bit. Armored pikemen. We take the two guys just to look what they can do. That you have a little bit informative gameplay from a while. Okay, this is obviously the highest uh, rank of armored pikemen, level 30. Quite good skills. Um, yeah. You can go now. The Empire Legionary seems to be the highest rank of infantry with sword and shield. Look at this, 320, that's actually quite good. Although I would have liked it if they got the the quarter shields, you know, the Roman shields. Um, tavern. Krabur. Uh, you know something? What do you know? A Knight of the Falcon. Did we ever buy such a guy? Well, let's buy him and see what he can do. Just for information purposes. And then let's sell our guys. Marketplace. Oh, large bank of botkin arrows. Do we have bad arrows? Large bank. This is a normal botkin arrow bank, and we get the large bank. Excellent. Do we have anything to sell? No armor? Ooh, nice. Okay, horses. And we're not in the trading business, so we're not buying anything. Let's take an action. Yay! Okay, the Knight of the Falcon costs 90. The Blackheart Knights costs 51. The Knight of the Falcon is... 40, level 40, health 75, and his combat skills are not that high as you might imagine. Actually, they're not that good. Um, the Rook Black Knight is obviously using a Hawkeye bow, which is excellent, and I think he's using a... Tell me about yourself. Okay, he's five levels low, has a little bit less power strike, power draw, and all that, but he's good at everything. So given the chance between these two, I would go for this guy. Let's have them in uh, a camp. Okay, everyone of their horses, I want to see your horses. You are riding a falcon war horse, which is nice, and you are riding a neverville charger, which is impossible to kill. When I look at the two of you, you're equipped with a mace and a 200 sword, which is okay. You're equipped with a shield, probably a sword, and a bow. Okay, um... Fire at will. Okay, he's got the hawk eye bow. Ah, a lance. So in closed combat, you're dead. Now ah, that's good to know. Okay, you're dismissed. You're dismissed. Yeah, do you see that? I'm paying money just to get you... Um, you're not telling me you've got a Knight of the Ebony Gauntlet or a prisoner. And they've got... How do they do that? How do they actually do that? As far as I know, there is still war, but there does not seem to be any killing, sadly. Okay, I yeah, know, no, I've already been here. Okay, okay, okay. So it seems like the war between the two factions have ceased. Let's see if there is any looting going on. Of the villages, any sieges... Ushu is being raided, probably by um, my friends, the Fedeswine. 
So let's go that direction because chances are that they're battles. And where there's battle, there is honor. And where there's honor, there's something to do for us. Oh, that was close. I have no intention of fighting those guys. That cost us a lot of time and the income at the moment is not that high. What? Running from Death Seekers? What is a Death Seeker? Oh, as soon as he has a that guy with you, you're a Death Seeker? Honestly? Okay, so you're riding this place. But there is no one to fight. So that is a pointless attraction here. Where are the main forces? I could have asked the guy where the main forces are. A lot of prisoners were exchanged. No one's here. Oh, Morons is actually making negative income. Okay, I'm a little bit out of ideas here. Wollon Bray is besieged. Well, that could be fortunate for us. I've got an idea. It might not be the best idea ever. And the fetus wine are losing at the moment. Oh, great. <laughs> Sucker, and he drew s drew first. Okay, he knows nothing. Oh, by the way, this guy here are the most badass close combat specialists that you can find in the tavern. Those guys are killers, killers. They're prayed, uh, trained, breathed, and done just for trip dragon spine axe. Not that impressive, actually. It sounds impressive, but it does not look that way. Okay. Armor. Crap, crap, crappity crap, crap to crap to crap to crap to crap. Horses. Nothing even close to being impressive. So now the question is, what should we do? Should we join the Fittis Vine battle in Bolon Bray? Under siege. Or should we focus on doing order, quest order thingies? It's a hard question. Well, we'll solve that in the next round, and we'll see us there. Bye!